YouTube what's up guys back with another video and uh, today I'm going to uh, do another shoe review of a of a shoe that um, I've been wanting for a while and um, I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on it it's probably about three or four out there that I actually do on foot um, and a review of the actual shoe uh, and let me just give a background story of um, of why I like this particular shoe and, and why I like this particular silhouette and model um, of this shoe and what I mean by that is I'm talking about Jordans and um, the reason why I've, I've always gotten to Jordans is because uh, I grew up in Wilmington North Carolina where uh, Michael Jordan grew up in uh, I went to Laney High School uh, his house was, you know, just a few streets down from where I lived, pretty much the same neighborhood, um, along with, you know, five, six other of my best friends uh, who grew up down the street from him as well. And so we all grew up, you know, kind of admiring Michael Jordan. We all went to the same high school. And so, you know, it, it, he was just one of those guys in which, you know, growing up in our in that era, you know, watching him play, it was... um. It was unbelievable you know I remember the first time I actually saw Michael Jordan was when he was riding down the street and I still to this day don't know if it was a black Porsche or black Ferrari I just know it was my first time ever seeing an exotic car and he was playing for UNC Chapel Hill during the time and so make long story short I've always been a Jordan fan um, I'll always will be um, I'm not gonna go into you know whether he's the greatest of all time to me I think he is but you know I do understand that uh, there's a new age of basketball and there's other players that, you know, the, the game has changed a lot since then as well. And so that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the only GOAT. Uh, I just think he definitely was the GOAT of of his era and of, of, of his time. You can't deny that at all. And so anyway, um, getting into the actual reviews, I've always liked Air Jordans. Um, the first pair of Jordans that I ever bought were the um, were the Jordan 5s. Uh, you know with the the translucent sole and then I didn't get another pair of Jordans until the Jordan 8s and then um, Yeah, so those those two hold hold a lot of weight with me because those were my first two silhouette Jordans that I ever had I didn't start getting into Jordans until the threes came out. Uh, I remember my uncle had the ones I remember seeing the twos, but when the threes dropped, that's when I really started it, it, it's the Jordan brand started catching my attention because of the air bubble in the threes I thought that was like the coolest thing to see a shoe with an air bubble in it and then when the fours came out I even got more press to get a pair it was like I never forget one of my favorite movies is do the right thing and that scene where you know the guy stepped on the cement fours I, I wanted that shoe and loved that shoe ever since that scene in the movie and so um and I do have it by the way but uh I wasn't able to actually get a pair of Jordans until the fives came out and I never forget I begged and begged my parents begged my grandmother and I, I think they all went in to buy it because they just did not see the reasoning of paying over a hundred dollars for a shoe and that was my first Jordan and I never forget the first time I wore them to middle school that week I got a, the hugest biggest scuff on the shoe and it wasn't even five days before those shoes were ruined and it just broke my heart, but I still warm until the soul actually ran out. You know, I still love them, but but anyway, I'm I'm just going on and on now. But back to the shoe review, man. Um, today I have obtained one of the newest Jordans, which is the wait a minute, is this label upside down? No, uh, the Air Jordan 34. Uh, is this the 34 or the 35? Wait, this is the 34. Yeah, I think this is the Jordan 34. Um. I love this silhouette, man. And you see a lot of these these different colorways. You can tell when a newer Jordan kind of sells and, and becomes successful is when you see a lot of NBA players jump on board with it. Um, and that's been happening with the latest the latest model Jordans. A lot of people don't like the newer Jordans, but or the people who do like it only like it to play ball in because of the technology. I love the silhouettes of the newer Jordans. Anywhere from like 29. I would no, I take that back. I would say probably 20 maybe 26 all the way up now to the 34s um, because I like futuristic looking shoes and they're always comfortable 
Nike. Yeah, some of them do look weird, and you can't rock them with everything, but I still think they're pretty cool looking shoes. And so this particular one is style AR3240-101. Comes in this really unique, crazy looking, uh, what's the word? Um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to, uh, like polygon type box. And uh, I got the iridescent ones, man. And I know there's a lot of colorways out there, but I wanted a predominantly all white shoe because I don't have any besides the cement fours. But I really wanted to, to get one that is all white, really cool looking, but then has like something on it that just kind of sets the white off to make it pop. I couldn't find anything better than this. They are going to drop a, a, a model that's all white low version of this but it doesn't have anything that pops on it it's literally like an all white shoe this right here with the iridescent on the side the iridescent on the heel this is something that i really like this is what really draws me on to the shoe um that it's all white and that it has that iridescent pop to it uh, you have your translucent sole and most of you have probably seen these already the last shoe review I did of this material right here, I, like I said, they're, they're putting this on a lot of different Nikes now. I'm not sure what this is called. It's like a very translucent mesh type material. It's going to show whatever color sock you wear. It'll see through it. Um, to me, I think it's a very cheap material. I think this is why these Jordans retail at 180 when you got, you know, a lot of more um, newer model Jordans retail at 200 to 220 and above. It's because Nike is using materials to make the prices cheaper. Because this material is like a flimsy, see-through material that's probably, I mean, to me it is a, a cheap way out, but at the same time, it, it, it lowers the cost of the actual shoe. And you can get away with it. The only thing is, is this material right here, I can already tell, if you spill anything on this shoe, I don't care what it is, a drop of ketchup, some wine, um, if anything gets on it, like, you know, I don't know, some mud, it is, I think, I don't think you're going to be able to get this off, to be honest with you. This is a shoe I would only wear on special occasions, um, and to make sure that it's, that it's inside or if it's outside, it has to be the most clear, beautiful day ever, uh, to not get these things dirty or messed up because if not any type of stain that gets on that material, this right here. I don't see how in the world it's going to come off. Um, other than that, though, I mean, the technology, I'm not going to get into all of that. This is more of a just a, 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 a basic review of the actual shoe. Um, it's a clean shoe, man. This, this shoe, matter of fact, what I'm wearing right now, I could really definitely rock these with, with this. It, it's just like that white, clean, um, uh, I don't know, man. I don't even know how to explain it, man. It's just a dope shoe. It's just a really, really dope shoe. Um, so yeah, man. This is this is the uh, the Air Jordan 34 iridescent. Um, I believe these came out for All Star Weekend. Um, again, on the heel tag, you got these different colors. From my understanding, the other one has uh, even more colors on it. And I think these are the different. These represent the different Metro train lines that are in Chicago um, from my understanding that's that's what I've read I'm not sure if that's accurate or not but um, on one shoe you have the flight in red on the other you have the flight in blue on the uh, on the tongue of the shoe on the back you have the different Nikes uh, air that's matching the the uh, hang tag in the back and um, yeah, other than that, man, that, that's about it. I'm going to do an on-foot review as well, just to show you guys how it looks on foot, and then I'll stop the video. But, um, yeah, it has the zoom technology and all of that good stuff in it. But this shoe right here is a dope shoe. Highly recommend. Um, a lot of the 34s are selling out on the Nike website, so I do know they have a couple of sizes left in this one. And I think the all-black one, and I think the black and white one, other than that, most of these 34s are gone. You can't even find them on the website anymore. The infrared ones that came out and dropped, those shoes were dope and clean. They were sold out like the first day. The Swamp, the Bayou ones that Zion wears, those sold out like the first day. Yeah, th this shoe right here, this silhouette, this model is, is selling out like crazy. Um, but it's a, it's just, they're just dope shoes. So you can't, can't take anything away from Jordan on that. So uh, I'll do the on foot in a second.
And then after that, I, I'll be done and I'll catch you on the next video.